Texas Marital Settlement Agreement is a document whereby a married couple determines how they wish to divide assets, property, child support, or custody responsibilities and liability following a divorce. The spouses can organize their affairs by utilizing the settlement, reaching a mutually agreed upon decision that conveys how they wish to divide assets and responsibilities outside of the court system. We're eForms, the world's biggest database of legal documents. Make sure to watch to the end of this video where we'll give you a link to where you can make your own marital settlement agreement online, potentially saving you thousands of dollars during the divorce process. Let's begin. What is a marital settlement agreement? A marital or divorce settlement agreement contains all terms and conditions that will dictate a married couple's divorce and life after the dissolution of their marriage under contract and within the scope of Texan law. The most common affairs contained within the settlement document include but are not limited to division of shared or marital property, distribution of debts, custody of any children, and owed alimony payments and child support. It may be wise to have a third party mediator present during the negotiations along with each spouse's respective attorney. However, they are not required to obtain legal representation or mediation of any kind. Therefore, if both spouses see eye to eye on terms, they can independently draft an understanding and attempt to bypass the legal fees that come with hiring an expensive divorce attorney. Still, some divorces are often more complicated than others, such as cases involving minor children. Couples may be unable to reach an accord without representation in these types of cases. Both spouses should communicate openly to determine if a settlement is a possibility. If so, they can not only save money, but also time in lengthy court hearings. Now, let's take a look at some of the legal requirements in Texas. Texas is one of the nine states governed by community property laws. Community property laws state that all assets and money acquired by any of the spouses from the start of the marriage to the end is the property of the marriage. This means that each spouse automatically owns 50% interest in all assets, monies, and debts that were acquired during the marriage. Community property is generally divided equally after a divorce, but it varies from case to case. Depending on the nature of the situation, dispersions will be applied by a judge if both spouses cannot come to a mutual agreement through a settlement. Note, however, a marital settlement agreement may be used in taxes to avoid such distributions by the courts. If both spouses agree on terms outside of an equal divide, they can file for an uncontested divorce and use this contract to outline their desired conditions. And finally, one more legal requirement to keep in mind involves residency. A case may not be filed unless either the petitioner, the filing spouse, or the respondent, the spouse being served, has resided in the county where the case is filed for at least 90 days, and they have resided in the state of Texas for at least six months. The process usually takes around 60 days upon the filing of the divorce case. This timeline is dependent on how quickly both spouses can reach a settlement agreement and gather all documentation. Down in the description below, you will find a link to all divorce-related forms necessary to commence the action. We're eForms, the largest database of legal documents. We have created an expansive and state-specific template that covers every last detail of the Texas Marital Settlement Agreement. To get this official template that can be used to file for divorce in your local district court, simply click on the link below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily videos.